Right now, we're focusing on things coming into being, things ending, things sinking, things transforming, coming back up, over and over and over again. So this is called composting distress in a chi cauldron. So we're holding the cauldron in front of our body, imitating the chi of soil or earth. So things are composting and turning over, coming back up into life, living life, turning over, going back to the earth and then coming back. Now this is a pretty reasonable metaphor for one quality of life. It also gives us a chance to play with our thoughts and feelings. So if you imagine throughout your day how many different thoughts come up, looping feelings, reactions to things, and they all come into being throughout your day. But at the end of the day, hopefully, as you lay down and allow your consciousness to turn over from being awake to sleep, you can let go of those things. And maybe you need to dream on them for a while or just have a good night's sleep, as people say. But we want to allow all of those stressful thoughts and feelings to land in a way to decompose like leaves, sinking into the soil, and in a way nurturing us because we learn from challenging things quite a lot. So I imagine challenging feelings coming up, thoughts, memories, see them for what they are coming into the world, except that they need to turn over and feel into the process of just using thought and meditation and ideation and imagination to let them decompose naturally, not because we hate them, not because we're afraid of them, but because everything in life, including thoughts and feelings, arise throughout the day into the awakening mind, turn over, become still, and like the past, just sinks into the world and gets turned over and renewed into potentially more uh, generous thoughts, more wisdom, more imagination, more playfulness, more curiosity, less distress, less dilemma, less comparison, less loathing, sinking down, turning into something new. We want to almost feel like children in a way, like you can do anything with your thoughts and feelings you want. And even when you do the best you can with your thoughts and feelings at the end of the day, they of course turn over, sink into the sleep world, and hopefully the next day become a source for renewed thoughts and feelings. So this is a simple practice of composting your distress, if you happen to have any, by imitating the chi of the earth, chi of soil. And again, you can do that for a minute or two, or for as long as you like. <laughs>